Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Khairul Zafi bin Muhammad Zulkifli and I'm from Faikazin. Today, I will present about deforestation. Do you know about deforestation? Deforestation is the action of clearing a wide area of trees in a large scale. Deforestation causes can either be direct or indirect. Among direct causes are, first, natural causes as hurricanes, fires, parasites and floods. Second, human activities as agricultural expansion, cattle breeding, timber extraction, mining, oil extraction, dam construction, and infrastructure development. Among indirect causes are, first, insufficient political action and government's failure as inadequate land tenure system, corruption, wrong public administration investment. Second, political and socio-economic causes as population growth, military conflict, and climatic changes. The main causes of deforestation can actually be led back especially to first, substitution of forest area with cultivation and breeding. Second, timber extraction. Third, firewood collection. And fourth, road and infrastructure construction. Firewood collection is undertaken especially by native population which due to recent population growth that must provide energy sources for the survival. This phenomena add to large scale industrial timber exploitation. Road construction is to transport timber also dam construction and industrial exploitation of mines contribute to massive deforestation. The purpose of deforestation activities are first to obtain timber for construction work, furniture and paper. Second, for mineral mining. Third, for opening new areas to carry out agricultural activities. And lastly, is for building residential areas and roads. Apart from that, deforestation can also have a negative impact on life and the earth, such as first, climatic, climate imbalance and climate change. Second, increase in global warming. Third, increase in greenhouse gas emission. And fourth, soil erosion. Fifth, flat. Sixth, wildlife extinction and habitat loss. And lastly is acidic oceans. I think that's all from me. Thank you. For preservation of uh, deforestation and loss of the biodiversity, uh, I suggest to enforce the deforestation laws which is cut down the specific trees like an old trees that nearly died it is because to allow perennial plants to grow for a long time the next is conservation of deforestation and loss of biodiversity which is afforestation afforestation is a process of planting more trees in a specific area it is an attempt to balance our ecosystem to reduce the effect of deforestation and environmental pollution of all types. However, we should practice in environmental sustainability. As a parent, they should set a good example for their children which love to plant a trees. As the children grow up, they know how important is tree to human. Biological knowledge. As we know that forests are almost covered by trees which they are perennial plants. As we learn in biology, perennial plants can grow bigger as according to their age. The longer their age, the bigger amount of woods is provided. Therefore, we should cut down the old trees only because they are valuable in wood supply. And we can also decrease deforestation that can destroy our biodiversity. If biodiversity is destroyed, Many animals lost their population and continuously dying. Malaysia has the distinction of having the highest rate of forest loss of the main country that are reducing their forest cover. 
after decade of unsustainable logging, which depleted timber stock and undermined the viability of traditional forest management. Malaysia forests are increasingly being converted for industrial oil palm plantation. The palm oil industry is a powerful political force in this country. The main causes of declining forest cover are urbanization, agriculture fires, forest conversion for plantation, and other forms of agriculture. Peninsula Malaysia's primary forests are mostly vanished with the ascension of Taman Negara, a national park. The of Malaysia remaining primary forest is found on the island of Borneo in the state of Sabah Sarawak. But the majority of Malaysian Borneo forest area are particularly in the lowlands has been selectively locked resulting in the reduce of biodiversity. The main environmental effects of deforestation and forest degradation include decreased biodiversity, the release of greenhouse gas emission, and the formation of the forest fire. Rural work too slow, the climate change, preserve wildlife and the support of billion people, through which inevitably bring a role. Nonetheless, deforestation, the mass of destruction of the tree, continue sacrificing the long-term benefit of the standing tree for the short-term gain. Forests continue to cover approximately 30% of the world land's area, but they are disappearing at the alarming rate. According to the World Bank, the world lost 502,000 square miles of forest between 1990 and 2060, an area larger than the South Africa. According to the 2015 study published in the journal Nature, Human has been destroyed, destroyed 46% of the trees since they have been cutting them down. Over the last 50 years, approximately 70% of Amazon rainforest has been destroyed with the losses of recently of the rice. According to the WWF report, over the next 15 years, forest landscape the size of Texas could be lost due to rampant of fur deforestation. According to the report, if nothing is done, 11 of the world's most ecologically important forest landscapes, including forest home for orangutan, tiger, and elephant, will account for more than 18% of global forest, global forest loss by 2030. Distance of the 420 meter, if current trend continues, this deforestation front could lose up to 400 and me. 420 million of acres of forest between 2010 and 2030.